Hey guys, in this video I just wanted to give you a quick look at how I created the shaker pocket page. I actually started by using some stickles gel that I got from scrapit.com recently that I ordered from them. Um, I saw it on there and I was like, oh, I need some things sparkly. And this was a fun thing to play around with. You can see I'm just using my fingers and I'm kind of spreading it out, trying to make it so that it's in one layer. Uh, with the gel part, it can get a little, um, I'm going to say splotchy. That's not even the word, but it can just kind of congeal in one place. So I'm kind of trying to spread it out, spread out the stars. You could obviously do this with a paintbrush or something else, but I thought it was kind of fun to do with my fingers. At this point in the process, this was all I was really thinking about doing on here was just adding this. And then I would see later on in the actual month of December, like what, how, what else did I want to do with this? But as I was doing this then I started thinking about how I got this giant tape roll giant foam adhesive tape roll and how I got it because I wanted to make some shaker pockets and do some shaker pockets in different ways that I've done them before so what I decided to do was I grabbed two pieces of graphics transparency these are the pieces the pieces of paper that I like to use to create uh, transparencies on my own right this is the way that I that I often use them not for running through the printer but just like building a page on top of it you can see I've got my giant roll of foam adhesive that I will link for you guys below. I posted a picture of myself on Instagram recently because it fills up my whole face, but this was the point of why I got it. So what I'm doing is I'm basically creating a border around the outside of the graphics transparency that I cut to 11 inches wide by eight and a quarter tall, which is essentially the size of the outside of the page protector in these eight by 10 albums. So I'm just creating a border around there. I, mean, I cut that one a little short, so I actually added in a little bit of extra. And then I am using some really pretty sequin slash confetti sequin mixes. Um, this is from the Diary of Belle Rose, which is an Etsy shop, and I'll link you guys to that. And there you can see I pulled off the adhesive off of the back of the that first first uh, transparency that I laid down, and then I adhered another transparency on top. So all of those sequins are housed inside between those two pieces of transparency with the foam adhesive as the um as the the thing that's linking the two together and then i'm putting red line tape on top of that that's going to be adhered onto my die cut page. I wanted to um, ha have the holes be on the adhesive. I actually didn't put red line adhesive or red line tape underneath where the holes are. When I went to cut my holes, I was thinking that I would be using my We Are Memory Keepers hole punch, but it's just a little bit too thick. So I actually ended up going to my crocodile, pulling my crocodile out and using that because it had a little more uh, it was a, had a little more height between it so it could fit something a little bit thicker inside of there. So I'm punching the holes that to be able to add it into my album. When I went ahead and adhered mine down on the on the back there, I there was a little bit of um, overlap from the actual die cut page. And so in a minute here, you're gonna see me go in and trim some of that off with a craft knife. But what I decided to do on the back was actually use the um, washi tape from the main kit this year to create a border around at least three sides of the back of my uh, shaker page here. So I'm just trimming off a little bit of the excess from the front, no big deal. And then I'm going around the outside edge with that black and white washi tape, which I love. I'm super glad we did that. Um, just it's so universal and, and black and white always looks good on with all the Christmas colors too. I decided to just do three sides of that so that I wouldn't be punching through the washi tape, um, which is not a big deal and you can totally do that if you wanted to, but I went ahead and just left it with three sides covered there. Uh, I'm excited to have this in my album. I thought this was a really fun page to make. Obviously you can do this in a variety of different sizes. You could cut something with your silhouette. Uh, I just went ahead and used the die cut page here that we offered in the shop this year and I think it turned out super cute. You can see more um, in today's post with my foundation pages.